Hey guys, it's your guy and Jokes again, and today welcome to my review on this next Disney movie I'm going to review, and that is Ralph Breaks the Internet. Came out in the year 2018, same year as the masterpiece Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, as well as Hotel Transylvania 3, Avengers Infinity War, and you know the rest. So, let's get into the plot. So the base plot is, it takes place from Wreck-It Ralph left off, it's about... Uh, Vanellope into like Sugar Rush on the race and then all of a sudden the RK man broke the wheel and unfortunately they had to get a new one so they had to, he had to unplug the game everyone and then Ralph and Vanellope find out there's a Wi-Fi uh, thing being plugged in and Ralph and Vanellope went into the Wi-Fi and meet up with um, this guy's family and Shank and take us to Slaughter Race and try some for the journey and and stop this virus and that is basically what the plot is. I will say this movie and the first movie are masterpieces. Yeah, Rick and Ralph and Ralph and Sinter are masterpieces. And I even saw this movie in cinemas back in 2018, and I really enjoyed it. If you want to know, I've got two favourite scenes of this movie. I've got my favorite, second favourite scene in the movie is probably the slaughter ace scene with Shank. And the if you want to know what the number one favourite scene of this movie is, the post credit scene. The wreck roll scene, when Wreck-It Ralph says, sings... Never going to give you up, never going to let you down, never going to run around and desert you, never going to make you cry, never going to say goodbye, never going to tell a lie and hurt you. Ooh, give you up. Yep, that's Wreck-It Ralph's version of Never Going to Give You Up by Rick Astley. Yep, that post credit scene. Is the best scene of this movie. The Rick Rick Roll scene. Rick Roll. Sing Never Gonna Give You Up. Yep. And. Oh boy. We're gonna talk about. The worst character of this movie. And that is. Donald Dan. Honestly. Dog Dan. He is mean spirit. I gotta say, he was atrocious. I gotta say, he's a freaking asshole. I did not like this character at all. Oh, God, he's awful in this movie. He's up there with Dawn Bellwether from Zootopia, Tom Atoa from Moana. Kazar from the Wild, Slim from Home on the Range, Gaston from Beauty and the Beast, Edgar from the Aristocats, as the worst Disney villains I've ever seen in my life. Period. Gotta say, this guy was awful. I just did not like character. He was atrocious. And yeah, thank you all for watching. That's my review on Rap Breaks Internet and bye.